morning everybody so today we kind of have a lot of stuff to get done and I wanted to vlog because it's my day off and I've been trying to get at least like one YouTube video up a week so Wednesdays are the best day to do it because I don't have to work so I have a lot of stuff to do today so I thought that I would take you guys with so the first thing that we're gonna go do is get coffee. I also am gonna go to Trader Joe's today because I've never been there. I also am doing this thing for Riley's uncle who is battling cancer. If you guys wanna keep him in your prayers, I would appreciate it, but he's battling cancer and so he has like 20 days left of treatments and he's already done like 25 or something. And I came up with this idea to make like a little gift bag every day that he can open after his chemo treatment. So some things are like really small, really funny gifts, like just a little funny thing that would make his day. Or some are like actual good gifts that he would like. Um, and so every Saturday we take him five more gifts for the next five days, Monday through Friday, for the next week that he has treatments. But this Saturday, I need to take him five more gift bags for the following week. So I need to go get some gifts for that today. So yeah, let's go. I'll be like, Okay, thank you. Dunkin' Donuts hash browns are so good. Something about them is just different. Come on, baby, focus on the masterpiece. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm. Your girl did some shopping. Um, I'm very awkward taking my camera into public so i'll show you what i got when i get home but we're gonna go to trader joe's now i'm gonna do my own thing So, it's a little chilly. I don't know if you can see my breath. Um, it got really cold here very fast here in Alabama. Very cold, very fast. I've been wanting to go longboarding for a while. And I was like, well, you know, if I want to go longboarding, I should probably go soon. Because it got cold very fast and it's just going to get colder so why right here longboarding as you can see it's a very rainy very gloomy day okay that's a little better but you know I love to longboard and life's too short not to do the things that you do that you love to do even if it's a little chilly wise words from Brie also, another thing that I've been learning and realizing is that in life, you have to do the things that make you happy. You know, life is not all about working and paying the bills and, you know, life is not all about that stuff. And sometimes I think we all get too caught up with work and with paying the bills and you know, we get too caught up with all of that stuff. And I've been realizing that a lot of the times when I don't feel like myself, it's probably because I'm not doing the things that I really enjoy to do. Like longboarding. I love to longboard and I don't do it. I don't do it very often. So I'm just telling anyone out there, if you don't feel like yourself, if you just feel weird and sad and you just don't know. First of all, obviously you need to spend time with God, more time with God. But I also just want to remind you 
to spend some time doing the things that you enjoy. Like for real, that's what I always tell people when they're like sad or they're going through a hard time. I'm like, okay, have you been doing the things that you enjoy? And if you haven't, you need to get out and do those things because those things make you happy, you know? So, little advice from Lil Breezy. Pretend like there's other racers right here. Okay. I'm a good Pretend like there's other people on the there. River. On your mark. My working day is Get over. Set. We'll go swim all our cares. Go. Down in the water. And a smile across your face. Tell me that you love. They're catching up. They're catching up. And she's so close. And now I ain't the shark. Yeah, the crowd goes wild. Ah, wow. Wow. Go breezy. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. For coming out to the race. My work here is done. It's a very chilly day in the neighborhood. But I won my first place spot. Thank you everybody for coming. I appreciate y'all showing up to the race. All right, y'all. That was fun. But that was also freezing. Oh my, Atlanta. I am so cold. Okay, now that we got that fun out, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. All right guys, as you can see, We've made it to Trader Joe's. I don't know why I'm so excited for this, but I've never been into Trader Joe's and I feel like it's a, a basic city girl thing and I have a very big part of me that is a city girl and I just love bougie grocery places, so I don't know. All right, Trader Joe's, 10 out of 10. Beautiful store, just all the right vibes. And coconut and almond creamer then we got a kombucha because I haven't had kombucha in a while and I really wanted to get some then we got some cookie butter ice cream it looks delicious then I just got some chicken all natural chicken all right then I got this just looked really good um chai drink i don't know if i showed you the california veggie burgers the salmon burgers the barbecue chicken pizza um the white organic shells and white cheddar mac and cheese the apple cider i don't know what i had already showed you guys but um just alfredo for when i make chicken alfredo and then i needed some hand soap and their lemon hand soap um smelled really good okay ladies and gentlemen we need to have a chat because i feel like god is speaking to me to talk about this right now so i got my kombucha and i'm gonna chat with you guys <laughs> about three years ago i had gotten out of a long relationship where i was cheated on mistreated just everything that you can think of that guy could do wrong to someone happened to me and it destroyed me when I finally got out of that relationship I just felt so lost I really went down a dark path and I feel like there might be someone out there that needs to hear this but when you get cheated on it makes you feel like your worth is based off of if a guy thinks you're worthy to be loved or not 
if a guy thinks yes I want to be with this girl yes I want you instead of anyone else yes you're good enough that's what that's what you feel like your worth is based off of at least for me and so because I was cheated on you know because the person that I was with went to other people to find what they wanted I felt like I wasn't good enough and so after I got out of that relationship I just wanted so badly for a guy to want me for a guy to want to be with me for a guy to compliment me to tell me I was pretty to tell me I was beautiful to show that they wanted to be in a relationship with me that's where I found my worth and it caused me to make so many mistakes with guys be in so many dumb little pointless things or relationships or whatever it was just I made so many mistakes because that's where I was looking for fulfillment that's where I was looking to prove my worth and I also started partying more than I was before started drinking started I think that's when I got a fake ID and I started to try to get into bars and just if I was invited to the parties you know where everyone went to I felt good enough I felt like people wanted to be friends with me I just I was very lost I want to ask you you're probably doing those things because there's something broken inside of you something happened there's something wrong I feel like the reason why I got in that cycle of doing all those things every weekend you know I wanted a new guy to think I was pretty I wanted to go to another party I wanted to get drunk again because those things never fixed the problem. Those things never fixed the pain of the breakup. Those things never healed the pain of the breakup. It never gave me clarity, never gave me understanding, never gave me peace. Those things just made me make more mistakes. It made me feel more broken. And it wasn't until I truly realized like, I've tried everything that this world says will fulfill you but it's always left me broken. So, God, here I am. I have nothing else to try besides to surrender completely to you. Like, I've tried everything and nothing else worked. And what I think is funny, what I think is really funny is, a lot of the times I think girls just want a guy to feel, to tell them that they're good enough. A lot of us girls just want a man to tell us that we are worthy of being loved, that we are good enough, that we, there's nothing wrong with us, we're beautiful, we're perfect, and we just want that so badly. And I think the funny thing is, is that I was looking in the world for a man to tell me that and for a man to show me that when there was a man named Jesus Christ that died on the cross for me because he loved me so much because he thought I was good enough to die on the cross for it. Because he looked past all the mistakes I made, he looked past all my imperfections, and he said, you, I'm gonna die on the cross for you so that you can have eternal life with God. And for so long, I pushed that away. And for so long, I said, I don't want that. You know, God could never love me. I'm too messed up. I'm too broken. I'm making all these mistakes, you know. I don't want to do what you say, God. I don't want to not get drunk. I don't want to save sex for marriage. I don't want to, you know. And I was so lost in the world just wanting, you know, getting cheated on, getting lied to, just being hurt time after time after time by that person but also multiple people after that I was so caught up in looking for a man to think that I was good enough when the fact is is that there's a man that died for me already that said you're good enough that says I want to sacrifice my life for you because I love you and I don't know who needs to hear this but you know what's gonna happen if you keep pushing off God if you keep doing these things that he says not to you know, what's going to happen when you see God face to face? You know, you don't know when the last day is. You don't know when your last day here on earth is. Your last opportunity to surrender to God. You don't know. And you think, like, I want this to be a wake-up call to someone, to some girl. Like, like, you don't know when the last day is going to be. You know, what if you get in a car accident tomorrow? What if something happens tomorrow? And... 
like you go life without ever surrendering to God and giving your life to God because he's a good judge and when you see him face to face he's gonna judge you correctly actually before I end this video because I think I told you guys about um, my boyfriend's uncle that is going through cancer I, I got some things for that so I wanted to show you guys I found this so he has a garage where he works on his cars and stuff and so I got him this um, like poster for him to hang up in his garage so i hope that he likes this i got him a shirt he's a real southern guy so it's um straight up southern the brand and then it says locked and loaded and i got this for him because once he's done with his chemo treatments and he's feeling better he will be going hunting with us and I'm so excited. So I got him the shirt to get excited because deer season is not over yet until we get him out in the woods. And then the last thing I got him is this big jacket. It's so soft inside, but it's just a basic jacket. It looks like something that he would like and it's so soft on the inside. I don't know if you can tell, but I think he'll really like it and it'll keep him nice and warm so those are the things that i got him i wanted to show you guys but anyways that is all i have for today's youtube video thank you guys for joining um comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see if you enjoy talking videos because i have a lot i could talk about or if you would prefer more vlogs thank you so much for watching um i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys Leo, say hi.